It's Stu from Retro Hollywood. Time to look at one of the most famous TV shows ever made. Twilight Zone original series. My top five episodes fifth place is The After Hours. This is the one where store mannequins come to life. It's absolutely, it's absolutely incredibly insane, but that's why I like it. Perhaps one of the funniest 30 minutes of television ever produced, ever. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And it has Anne Francis, who was previously in The, For the Forbidden Planet in 1956. She is the lead actress in The Thing. She's the one who's getting wind of the fact that these mannequins are coming to life. This is crazy. I love it. Fourth place is 22. A stripper, or dancer as she prefers to be called, keeps having weird nightmares. This one has brilliant music cues, and anyone, anyone who follows this channel will know that I'm huge on great music cues. But more importantly than that, it has Jonathan Harris playing a complete bastard before he became a complete bastard in Lost in Space. Followers of this channel will know that I'm huge on the 60s Lost in Space TV, TV series, and that's basically why I regard this episode of Twilight Zone so highly. Thank you. Third place is Black Leather Jackets. A 1950s Marlon Brando movie meets uh, Lost in Space. That's basically what we're talking about here. Yeah, three young dudes in uh, black leather jackets enter this small, innocent American town of the early 1960s and make trouble. This episode is not liked by everybody. In fact, many people don't like it at all. It came in season five when Zone was running out of ideas. But I personally think it's a great achievement. But I personally think Owen oh, Allen is one of the great wonders of the world, so you, so you know where my thinking is, but for, for, for whatever reasons, I regard black leather jackets as a true gem and without question a statement about 1960s America. Thank you. The second greatest Twilight Zone episode is titled No Time Like the Past. 22, No Time Like the Past, Black Leather Jackets. I'm talking about Twilight Zone episodes that not everybody likes. But the world would be rather boring if we all liked the same episodes. I mean, so you have to look at it from that angle. And I realise I am sort of Irwin Allen minded and I'm going to do so again with this pick. But please bear with me. Uh, yeah, No Time Like the Past is very much a pre-Time Tunnel, Time Tunnel being the early 1960s series produced by mid, the mid-1960s series produced by Irwin Allen. And this is Dana Andrews in front of you. For the young ones who don't know, Dana Andrews is basically a Hollywood legend. He did many wonderful performances in many great Hollywood productions. And here he is in a one-hour TV episode. So that's a big achievement. Dana Andrews is here in a time tunnel-ish tale that I personally think is absolutely brilliant. And uh, Time Tunnel had an episode on the Titanic, and while this is not set on the Titanic, it does indeed go to a uh, ship that is about to sink. So this is this is indeed very similar to uh, Irwin Allen's Time Tunnel TV series, and that is why I like it so, so much. And of course, Dana Andrews is here. The greatest episode of Twilight Zone is Walking Distance. This episode makes a statement about people who reminisce about their childhood too much. That's all for now. Stu from Australia, signing out.